Hello, Paul is the best for UK here and welcome to today's Game of Day video. Every day, August 2020, a different Nintendo NES game on my channel. Now, today's game is Turtles 2, the arcade game by Konami 1990. So this is based on the arcade coin machine, so let's have a look at this one. You can choose one or two turtles, so it designates one or two players. So we'll go for one player and let's have a look at this one. It's by Ultra Games. You get to choose your turtles, uh, Raphael, Donatello, Michelangelo and Leonardo. I will be this one. I think that's... is that Raphael? So we got a nice little intro cut scene and for you we got to get April 80's scene 1. Now as you can see this is a coin up conversion of the uh, arcade machine for the home market uh, for the Nintendo NES. And they've done a pretty good good job of this. This is sort of like a Streets of Rage clone or a Double Dragon clone if you like because Double Dragon come first. And yet th this is a, a pretty accurate uh, 8 bit uh, rendition of the coin up machine, it plays really well actually. I've actually played this before, but uh, yeah, I'll show you on this video. You can see that the building's on fire, or the streets are on fire, or whatever it is, so we've got to not touch the fire. And uh, yeah, the fire effect looks pretty good. Game plays really well with the uh, Nintendo NES controller, uh, really suits the uh, controls. It's a great controller, it's a bit square edged, but it's a great controller nevertheless. They did really well at making that controller. Have some of that. Watch out for these guys. Now in the game you do get some sprite flickering but uh, with most Nintendo NES games you do unfortunately. It's just one of the limitations of the uh, the CPU or whatever. And uh, yep, so uh, yep, keep going. A little bit of a flick glitch then as well. Yeah, this, this system was made a long time ago so it's going to have glitches and stuff. Wasn't perfect by any means. Well, yeah, they've done a really good job. You've got to watch out for these massive bowling balls, whatever they are. Let's see if we can... Oh, you fucking just got me. Yep, so keep going. Try and get past the stairwell with the bowling balls. And yeah, okay, here we go. So, oh, you fucking just shot that knife at me. Yeah, you can see that the the bad is, the, the game does suffer a lot from flickering, but, but nevertheless, it doesn't seem to harm the gameplay in any which way or form. It just looks... A bit flickery. Whoa, so they come out the doors and stuff, smash the door there. Uh, everywhere's on fire, you can see behind the door it's on fire. Oh you fuck, have some of that. So yeah, you can play co-op on this I believe, two players simultaneously, which is great fun. And uh, yeah, okay, here we go. Right, get the other buddies. Oh you fuck. So yeah, Turtles was based on the cartoon mission originally. Uh, in uh, the UK, it was actually called Teenage Mutant Hero Turtles originally. They deemed the word ninja to be too offensive, so they uh, renamed it with the strict uh, Ofcom rules. But later on, it got renamed back to Ninja, as it should be. Uh, I used to watch the uh, cartoon on Saturday morning television. I think it was part of Going Live or Live and Kicking, or maybe both. Uh, BBC One Saturday mornings, the cartoon. Really good. And uh, yeah, so here we go. Whoa, when the bowling balls come down, have some of that. So we've got more of that stairwell with the bowling balls. Watch out for these guys right now. Oh, you fuck. Have some of that. Have some of that. Oh, watch out for these. Okay, try and get... These are different colour enemies, I think. Alright, use my sword on him. Now, on the original game, you could choose your, your turtle during the game, gameplay, you can actually change on the fly, but you can't on this one. Yeah, the original game was a lot different than this. Made by the same... No, actually, I don't think it was made by the same company, or maybe it was. I think it was made by Palcom, or Falcom, or something like that. The original. This is made by Konami, isn't it? Okay, here we go. So, yeah, the game appeared on many other formats, including the Spectrum, the uh, Amiga, Commodore 64, Amstrad CPC. I'm not sure if it appeared on the Master System, I can't remember. Uh, I don't think it did. Or maybe it did, I don't know. There was also SNES sequel, Super Nintendo sequels and stuff. But yeah, this is the uh, NES version. It's got a particular NES charm to it. Oh, 
Mushik's very NES like well it will be very NES like considering it's a NES. But yeah it's got that unique Nintendo music. So they come out the lift and we progress on. Have some of that. Watching out for these guys. Oh you fucking just flying kicked me. Shall we keep going? Have some of that. Well, it's quite a long level. Oh shit! Right, so we gotta get these guys now. Have some of that. Oh, you fucking just electrocuted me. Right, I'm gonna try and get them. They're like little robots that electrocute you. Probably sent on by Shredder. Okay, here we go. Have some of that. Then a bit hard to get because they run really fast. He's got a whip as well. Have some of that. Come here, you little shit. Have some of that. Oh, you fucking just electrocuted me again. Oh, you booner. Got one of them. One of them's destroyed. Okay. Ah. They're all destroyed. There we go. So we are now in the uh, one of the rooms. It's, this, this building has been on fire for quite a long time. I'm surprised everyone hasn't died of smoke inhalation by now. There's April O'Neil in the background uh, being scared for dear life. We'll, we'll, we'll rescue her. Have we rescued her yet? Or is there more to do? Oh shit! Oh crazy! There's a big building coming through and uh, Oh no, it's one of the Rocksteady and Bebop guys. Have some of that! He's easier to get than the uh, little robot because he's a lot slower. But he's got his gun on him, so... Have some... Have some of that! Oh, you fucking just flying kicked me. Have that in revenge. I don't know how much hits he needs because uh, there's no uh, e enemy uh, power meter on the screen anywhere. I think he's getting weaker because he's flashing a lot now. There we go, have some of that. Oh no, she's, he's just kidnapped her April O'Neil. That's Shredder in it. So the game's got nice little graphics and the uh, displays. So yeah, that's uh, Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles 2, or Hero Turtles 2, whichever it's called, on the uh, Nintendo NES. I'm going to give that 9 out of 10, really fun uh, beat em up and uh, plays really well. The playability is excellent on this game, and the graphics aren't too bad, and the music's good. So uh, thank you for watching.